What's going on guys? So today we're gonna do something a little different. We're gonna talk about two products from VRSF, the 90 millimeter exhaust tips and the new single three and a half inch mid pipe. And this is gonna be for a BMW M3 or M4, F80, F82. So if you have one of those, uh, check out these reviews on these two VRSF products. Alrighty, so as always, I have my unboxer, Mr. Alejandro. Um, all right, so this is the box, it's nice, it's padded. And uh, these are the 90 millimeter exhaust tips. Now VRSF offers a couple different options. They have the uh, single walled which, uh, polish, which these are. Then they have the rolled and slanted uh, in either black, burnt tip, or polished as well. Um, and let me show you, the rolled and slanted looks very similar to the stock tips. So it's gonna, they're gonna look like that. They're gonna be a little wider, they're gonna be 90 millimeter. And then these are the single walled, if you wanna like hold one up there. Those are super nice looking. And uh, they're installed with clamps, so either get uh, you can either do it with T-bolt clamps or you can weld them onto the uh, stock exhaust. Okay, so in order to get the stock tips off, you spray a little WD-40 uh, around them. They're held on by these little like claw type uh, grip clips. I don't know how to explain it. And then basically you'll get a rubber mallet. And then you can use a piece of two by four or we got a big uh, bolt here and you just kind of pound it from the back. And uh, that's it, they should pop right off. All right, so that was actually a lot easier. Like it came off pretty easy, just a couple hits and uh, they popped right off. So I just wanna give you guys a comparison. Um, that's the size difference. So you can see that this one, like I said, is they call rolled and slanted. And this one is just a, just a uh, straight through. So we're gonna go ahead and put the new ones on this side and just slide the old ones halfway back on that side so you guys can see what it looks like uh, old versus new. All right, so this here is just a little uh, preliminary sliding the tips on. And uh, it looks really good. I definitely, I think I like the straight angle, you know, 90 millimeter better. I think, cause I was trying to decide if I should get there rolled and slanted in black. Um, really black versus uh, chrome or polish is what we were trying to decide. And uh, I think with the carbon fiber diffuser, I think the chrome really, really sets it off. So we're gonna head tighten them down and then we'll lower the car and see what it looks like. All right, so we got the tips put on. Um, when we started doing it, we used the uh, supplied clamps that they had. I really, really liked the way they look. Uh, I went down to a local exhaust shop, 360 Customs, just had them weld the tips on. It just looks a lot cleaner and I really, really like them a lot. Overall, um, it's a great product, um, VRSF. Uh, 90 millimeter. These are the single walled, not the rolled and slanted. Um, and they actually fit really nice because there's a spot where the factory tip just kind of slides over and there's like a stopper. So it's going to be even um, no matter what. So it's really not hard to get it lined up. But yeah, this is uh, definitely a quality product. And the next thing we're going to show you is VRSF's new single three and a half mid pipe. Alrighty, so we are back and I'm here with Zip Tie Zach. And uh, this is the VRSF single three and a half mid pipe. Um, we're doing a review for them on this product. So uh, we're gonna open it up, see what it looks like. It's that first piece well, we got there. It looks almost like it comes off the down pipe here. Okay. But all the welds look clean. Yeah, it looks nice. Yeah, I wanna check out the center piece because that's the piece that really this is, one? yeah. That's the, the, that's the new one. And, uh, oh, that is nice. Yeah, that's, uh, collect, yeah, so go up like this. Yeah, so it's gonna go to the down pipes, go like that, and then break off back to the muffler. Um, in two pieces, but typically every other mid pipe that's on the market, it won't have this big uh, centerpiece. It'll have actually two separate pipes. You want to open that one up? You might. That one's not. Yeah, it's resting on my feet. Let's just open this one up. That way you can put it back in. But looks sick. Oh yeah, it looks really good. The welds are really good, and this is gonna uh, fit right up to their down pipe. And then uh, of course they got their logo stamped on there. And they do a really nice job of just packaging up everything. So this is not for sale yet. Um, it's gonna be for sale. Um, so we're just kind of doing a review on it. Really, we wanna get it installed so we can hear what it sounds like. Um, but they supply really, really nice just connectors for everything. So, That's another one. oh yeah, it's another, uh, another connector. Oh yeah. This is the split back to your Oh, I see, okay, and that's the split that goes back to, yeah, it's gonna sound really nice. It should sound really, really deep, no rasp. And uh, according to Dino Charts, they have picked up 18 wheel horsepower and 30 torque. Right now in the center of the car, there is two catalytic converters. So the car comes with four cats, two by the downpipes, and then two in the center of the car. So this is gonna eliminate two more catalytic converters and uh, yeah, should pick up a little power and sound really great also. All right, guys, so we are back at Tuning Dynamics to go ahead and have the VRSF uh, single three and a half mid pipe installed. 
Paul's kind of laying it all out now. But essentially, like I had said before, um, there's two cats here. So what I was trying to explain in the last video is the reason this one is supposed to sound so good, like I said, these cars sound really raspy. Um, when you do just a double mid pipe that eliminates all this is because it's a dual. With this being a single, apparently it's supposed to sound a lot better, a lot deeper. So essentially um, it's gonna attach here and then go into one pipe here, one pipe, and then it will split back out to the uh, to the muffler. All right, so we got the old exhaust off, uh, just made two cuts down there. As you guys can see, like I said, it's just all one, one piece. And this is kind of comparison. Um, so yeah, it'll start up here at the downpipe, and then as you can see, just flow into one. So to the point where we're getting ready to start this thing up, I just want to take you through and show you. It actually fits really well. Um, it's pretty nice, actually. Let's see. And then right back here, it just clamps. So if you did ever want to return it to stock, um, you could just use the clamp, you don't have to re-weld it or anything, so. But yeah, it's actually really nice. Fits really good. But uh, yeah, let's start it up and uh, hear what it sounds like. All right, so that's first start. That should be with, um, that should be on efficient mode. Should start in efficient. So it definitely sounds a little deeper in efficient. I'm gonna give it like a baby rev and just see. Oh yeah. Oh, that sounds good. Like really good. Like. Holy, that is loud, but deep loud. Wow, like the burbles got extra, extra, extra loud. For comparison, I went back to efficient. Okay, so this is back in efficient. Okay. Man, it's loud in Sport Plus, but like a good deep, like, wow. So we just got the uh, mid pipes put on. Um, so again, I just want to give you guys kind of a sound clip. This is like I said before, a new product. So this is, uh, I guess we'll do a 60 roll. So you guys can just kind of hear it. I definitely felt like it picked up, it pulled harder, like in the mid range, for sure. Um, but it sounds really good. Verbal still sound really good. Uh, they're a lot more aggressive, so if you have the like the standard burbles, when you install this, it gets rid of the resonator and the two cats. Like it's definitely, definitely. I mean, and that's on a low setting. So, but yeah, I mean, it, it sounds deep, nice. So yeah, we're gonna get you guys some sound clips, uh, a couple little flybys from the outside, but that is way different than being inside the car. So that was a first look at VRSF's new single three and a half S55 mid pipe and a look at their 90 millimeter exhaust tips. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and enjoy this bonus clip of the M4 racing a Hellcat.